welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today is Inktober Day 7. And today I've decided to do the Doodle Wash prompt, who actually kind of goes along with the um, Jake Parker prompts for Inktober. So I've decided today to do apples. I believe today's actual word is enchanted. But last year I did this enchanted forest and I thought, eh, I don't know if I want to do that again. You guys see me do landscapes all the time and we're always talking about my trees and I thought, you know, this time maybe I'll do a close up of some branches and do some apples. So that's what I'm doing today. My plan is to still stick with my, my um, uh, Strathmore book. And if you have not been following along, some of these I did not do on camera or on YouTube. This one I did. I have a video on this one from day two. Uh, day three I did also a video on. And then you guys were asking for more. But this was day four. I did uh, freeze. And then I had a huge mistake on this page. And then day five was build. So I did a picture, sort of, uh, a little drawing of what my art studio will look like although it's a little bit wider than this I'll probably have a window here and here corner windows or on the opposite side I haven't decided um, there'll be a pellet stove which will probably be more toward the center of the room rather than the back but anyway you get the idea and then yesterday was husky and I didn't want to draw a husky dog because I thought everybody would. So I thought I'd draw my husky dog, who is a Boston Terrier, and his name is Diesel. Most of you know him, but if you're new to my channel, you may not be familiar with his whining and crying when I'm on camera. And he loves to open all my packages for me, too. So his name is Diesel. He's a heavy Boston Terrier, but he is not fat. Um, he's... In the winter, he usually runs over 30 pounds, and in the summer, he'll drop down to about 26, 27 pounds. So he is a large Boston Terrier. There are several different sizes. So anyway, that's that. Now today, I'm going to go ahead and do the apples, and I started to draw them, and I thought, you know, maybe I should do another video. So I'm just going to go ahead with my ballpoint pen and sort of go over, I always draw a pencil sketch, but I don't always stick with my pencil sketch. Sometimes I add to it or delete areas or move things over. So I'm going to do this in hyperlapse. And again, sticking with my Strathmore Mixed Media Heavyweight Toned Paper, which is this one is in gray. I also have one that is in brown, but I'm not going to be using the brown one this time or tan I'm just going to stick with the gray for Inktober, so I'll just continue in this book. I'm going to also use my Inktense blocks today. Um, I haven't done those yet. Yesterday, this these two were finished in, I started this one the night before, failed, and then started drawing it up and didn't color it until yesterday when I did this one. These were done in... Um, uh, this one was done in Arteza brush pens, or Arteza brush pens, which is a water-based ink. So anyway, on to today. I'm going to be um, reading a little more of one of Jake Parker's emails. Jake Parker is the one who founded Inktober. But before I get into that, I just wanted to tell you I am using a Jetstream click pen here that has five uh, little clickers on it. The one with the pen clip is a pencil, and then there's four colors of ink, and you can get those online at Amazon. Well, I only have a portion of my ink tents here. I don't know where the rest of them are. They're still packed in boxes since my art studio isn't built, but I have some blocks, and I have some extra pencils from another set that I had originally bought. I think I have a set of 72 somewhere in a box, but these are my extras. This was probably a set of 24. Yeah, there's 23 here. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and use what I got today, and we'll see how it goes. So you'll see that I'm just going to go with the Inktense blocks. I'm going to lay out a palette. I started with pencils, um, checking colors, and I thought, you know, I'm not going to use pencils. I'm just going to paint with the blocks. So I'll be pulling out a palette and setting those up so you can see exactly what I'm going to use right here. My plan was to paint with the ink tents, and then I go back at the end with my ink 
and I will go over some of the areas and do some hatching and that kind of thing. So I'm mixing some black and this brown together to get a bark color that I like, but I quickly decide I don't need it later and I kind of veer away from that. But the colors you saw there on the palette are all that I'm using for this and a couple of them I never used. Now on to Jake's email. He talks about actually doing the drawing. He says, sounds pretty easy, right? How hard can it be to carve out a few minutes to draw a little something each day? Well, it turns out it's very hard. I remember not too long ago when I struggled so much with drawing consistently. I desperately wanted to be drawing every day. I knew I should be, and I told myself I would, over and over. But somehow, the hours and then the days would slip by and I would draw a single, wouldn't draw a single line. I'd get busy with all the other things I had to do. I'd get overwhelmed, not knowing what to draw. We all get in those ruts, right? I'd be afraid I would draw something terrible and end up feeling worse. But a lot of times, I'd choose not to draw because it was easier. I'll do it tomorrow. Inktober was the kick in the butt I needed. I forget now exactly which year it was, but the first year, I believe it was 2007, but the first year I participated in Inktober marked a major shift in my drawing output. I saw a tweet about it and thought, yes, this is what I need. This will give me the motivation and accountability to actually draw every day. And surprisingly, it did. Did I draw every single day that first Inktober? No, I missed multiple days. It wasn't perfect, but having the ongoing motivation and knowing that I was supposed to be sharing my work each day made me jump back on the drawing wagon way quicker than I had before. All in all, it was more than I had ever drawn in a month, but more importantly, it was the most consistent I had ever drawn. A funny thing happened while I was going through that first monthly challenge. I started to want to draw each day. Once I'd gotten over the hump of the first week and had sat down to my sketchbook multiple days in a row, something clicked in my brain that made me start to create, crave drawing. I no longer had to work as hard to convince myself to draw. I just wanted to. I was developing a drawing habit. If you haven't experienced this sense of drawing nirvana, don't worry. It's never too late to develop a drawing habit. And don't be intimidated and think your drawing habit has to be perfect. Trust me, mine wasn't in the beginning and it's not now either. Either is mine. There are still days occasionally when I don't draw, but the difference is how long these lapses last. It used to go on for days and days, even weeks. Now, it's just one day and it happens much less frequently and I don't beat myself up about it. I just get back to drawing. What I've learned is that consistency is the most important aspect to improving your drawing skills. You don't want to burn out cre creating huge pieces of detailed artwork every single day. But drawing something, no matter how small or simple, will do wonders for your attitude toward drawing, confidence while drawing, and development of your style and voice. Drawing consistently is hard for sure. It requires commitment and willpower and sometimes drawing when you really don't want to. But the more you draw, the more it builds on itself. The drawings compound and you'll notice with each line and each day that it becomes easier and more enjoyable to draw. So how about it? If you're interested in drawing with us in Inktober this year, he has listed his tips, and I went over most of those the other day. He says to choose a theme or a theme list. You can do that if you'd like. Choose your frequency, whether it's daily, weekly, whatever, and use your own hashtag along with the others so that you can share your work with everybody else. But most of all, go easy on yourself. Let's say it happens. You missed a day of drawing. So what? That was yesterday, and today's today. We can't let one slip up bring, us, bring the whole thing crashing down. It's okay. No one is perfect and we all make mistakes. Consistency is what we're really aiming for. And we can keep it up by forgetting the tiny missteps and focusing on the big picture. Maybe you forgot to draw yesterday. 
You can't go back and you can't change that. But today is a new day with the opportunity to rebound. You can still draw today. You can totally rock October this year. It's challenging, I know. That's the point of a drawing challenge. But armed with a theme, a frequency goal, hashtags, self-compassion, you can draw more than you've drawn before. That's what Jake had to say, and I say, remember, be courageous, draw a sketch, paint with wild abandon, but most of all, be kind to each other. Talk to you all soon. Happy Inktober. Inktober.